James Calm, the guy on the bike. Welcoming everybody back for another half ass production. And today we're coming to you from Rivington Street and the world famous ABC No Rio. One of New York's classic alternative alternative spaces. ABC No Rio is a long time stalwart of the East Village and Lower East Side. I believe this was founded maybe in the late 70s, early 80s. After a show that was called the, the Real Estate Show, where a couple of alternative art groups got together and took over a storefront on Delancey Street. Talking with James Trimarco. Yeah, is that's that correct? Me. Yeah, Trimarco. Okay, and uh, I was just wondering. Uh, this is kind of a uh, celebration of uh, the new project you've got to uh, renovate uh, ABC No Rio. Can you tell us a little yeah, bit about that? We're not technically renovating this building. Um, our plan is to is to demolish this building and to rebuild. You're going to demolish structure. the building and build a whole new thing. We are planning to demolish this building and put up a new one. And there, like. Our architect told us that in order to, to rebuild, we would basically have to hold the top up with steel poles, rip out the whole bottom, and you know, start from scratch. It would actually be more expensive than building new. So now, what is the organization that's uh, basically getting together to do this? Is this uh, still uh, collab or is this advanced to something else at this no, point? No, it's just ABC No Rio. Collab is defunct and has been defunct since the All those 80s. people have sort of moved on. If people wanted to make some donations, is there a place on the website or something that they could there send donations? Most definitely at www.abcnorio.org. There is like right on the front page, donate to the building fund. And, um, of a permanent space in the Lower East Side for DIY arts and activism. And you know, that's do it yourself, really, folks. That's that's do it yourself. This is the grassroots. This yeah. is this and it's been been a grassroots organization for how much how many years now? Since nineteen eighty. Since nineteen eighty. Yeah. Okay, and, and the exhibition down here are architectural uh, renderings of the proposed that's new correct. ABC correct. No Rio. The new building would um, double the space and you know I mean everybody who works in here suffers a little bit because the building is drafty um, leaks like crazy when it rains and well, didn't the city just give them an old abandoned building to get them out of the uh, the building that they had uh, occupied on Delancey Street well they gave them a very run down building and right. they gave it to them as a rental there were actually families living upstairs when the um, collab artists moved in in the 80s though in 1980 there were people living here families so you basically are a neighborhood grassroots art organization. You show visual arts, you do performances. What other kinds of outreach programs do you have here? Well, we do a lot of other things. Um, we provide meeting at space. We provide personal space to a theater group. We, pro we provide a kitchen to the local chapter of Food Not Bombs. We have um, the cheapest uh, screen printing shop in New York City that you can use for a, a mere Cheap like screen dollars. printing. We have um, the cheapest dark room. Okay, give us your web. Give us, give us the website again. And the, the website is www.abcnorio.org. Um, abcnorio.org. Thanks a lot, Mr. Trimarco. Thank you. I think one of the problems or one of the tragedies of this is they've got a lot of. Uh, Interesting graffiti and uh, some nice uh, patina of lots of energetic hands and artists. Hey, there's Liz. Let me ask you some questions, Liz. Yeah. How long have you been involved with ABC No Rio? Oh, since the 80s. Since the 80s, back yeah. when you were a tiny little child, right? Exactly. And what, what do you think the unique place that ABC No Rio fills in the New York art scene is? Well, uh, they call themselves opposition. 
traditional, so I guess that's what they are. Whatever you got, they're going to take the other side, huh? Yes, exactly. I guess we need that in the art world. What hey. problems of real estate, etc., etc. That's right. Thanks, Liz. Oh, we're going to take a little peek out here in the back garden. That's a artists making a mural as we speak here. This is better than Tom Sawyer painting the fence. Okay, here we are with the... Are you guys the founders of Broad Thinking? Yes, we are, baby. All right, introduce yourselves. Oh, Chris Toomey. Chris Toomey. Yes. Thank you, Cypress. This is, this is the Broad Thinking part of the exhibition here. We're tracing the history of... Is that Stephen Ives? through the millennia. It is. He's another alternative guy. Let's see if we can make it upstairs. This is as bad as the Stan Brackage movie, huh? Struggle, struggle, huh? This better be worth it. Well, certainly. Oh boy, we made it. I don't know how many floors I'm going to be able to get up here. Oh. We're going to try to get up another floor. beyond the legal capacity of this building. Uh, this room has a little different mood. Well, we've come this far, we may as well go all the way to the top. This is ABC No Real Print Shop. Here's the famous silkscreen shop. Speaking with Stuart Nicholson and tell us about your little installation you've got out here in the hallway. Well, it's not just mine. It's, it's a group group uh, installation called Sublime Subprime. Uh, related to the mortgage industry, but ma mainly related to artists who are being pushed out sometimes. We had a gallery over here in the Lower East Side for 15 years. People are docu people are relating their experience back in the mid 80s and, and joining the gallery. Who, who got them involved? This artist-run gallery, and then they are now relating where the life is now, especially in regards to housing and living. Um, and what they're doing is is they're they send in statements to this effect and with their artwork and a lot. A lot of people yeah. have moved away, a lot of people yeah. have, have gone in their other housing, or some people have bought their own house. Some people have gone in a major gallery, so it's a whole, you know, it's a good like little history, a synopsis of a group that started in Lower East Side. It's a different neighborhood back in the 80s. I mean, back then it was a crack house that the, the gallery was in. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was and, and, and there was not any, even any a bar to go to down here, and you had to go to the hat for Mexican food and beer. You know, I mean, there was not, you know, now it's full of bars, full of condos. And there isn't clinically clean gallery boutiques yeah. that's right before the clinically clean gallery the clinic, yeah, this is still the unclinic. Yeah, exactly. take, a, take a revolving look around. I'm doing the this whole the place. Shop. Colin Deland from yeah. American Fine Arts. Because it is going to be torn down and rebuilt. Colin building. Deland from American like Fine Arts shirt. had Vox Populi on 6th Street in the mid 80s. Yeah, yeah, I he remember moved, all that. Of course, sure. beyond all that. Yep. And uh, he was uh, at a time when he wanted to go cosmetic and cover the walls completely, like like every gr real gallery. So for a while, he fought over whether he should. Keep Keep the place natural, or whether to slick it up and be clinically clean. No, I have nothing to say. Okay, well, I thank said you, it folks. All already. Thank you very much. Hello, this is James Calm reporting to you from East Rivington Street. Oh, there 156. What's up, Captain? Please. And the Ides of March show here at ABC No Rio. Thanks, Kate.